Hey guys, I'm reviewing Emory King Skyboy Cologne today, uh, Corbrise. Uh, this is the 50 milliliter. He sent me it for free. It was really nice of him. Um, and, uh, you know, he just hit me up in the comments, even a signed copy. Uh, this is his 50 milliliter Eau de Toilette. And um, I think there's a hint to what this will smell like. It's right there on, uh, I smelled it earlier. It is amazing. Very summer fragrance, very citrusy, floral. Um, so, uh, I have smelled it already, but I want to, um, give my impressions cause this is a great one, guys. Great for spring, summer, really anytime, office, date night, whatever. Uh, that's the bottle right there. Uh, Skyboy Cologne. And you might be thinking, oh, that's, um, he's kind of into Gucci. You know, he, he rocks the Gucci wallets and, uh, shoes and stuff and coach and whatnot. But no, that's, um, that's a key to something else that's in this. And when I smell it, right off the top, I'm getting floral. I'm getting citrusy, some lemon, but I'm definitely getting that lavender. Uh, on the dry down, and I was smelling my arm at the gym, probably people thought I was a meth addict or something, but I kept smelling my arm because it smelled so good. Um, and the projection uh, longevity was pretty good. But um, the keynote I'm getting, especially when it starts to dry down, is honey and uh, thus the honeybee there and which is very imaginative because a lot of colognes don't do that they don't really you see like creed uh standing out with pineapple or um you see certain things you know a lot of people put lemon or lime but like uh to have honey be your main note i think is is creative um my brother actually keeps a uh, a little um well, he has like a million bees, but he makes honey. I would say this, this you could wear it any time, but I'm getting a little bit of orange blossom in it. Uh, maybe some bergamot. There's definitely cedar wood. Uh, that was, uh, it says online, not the exact notes that are in there, but it does have a base of, of cedar wood. So woody, citrusy, but I, I get more of a sweet floral honey out of this. The lavender to me is pretty predominant. So um, I think of like, like, you know, Skyboy, of course, you're thinking of Emery King, right? Corbrise means uh, broken heart and he has Soda Mesa as well. Um, although that's, you know, for women, that's a pretty unisex fragrance from what I hear as well. But um, I think he knocked it out of the park with this and this is something that is easy to like. It's it's not like smelling tobacco vanille and being, you know, you have to be niche and, you know, some people are put off by that. This is easy to like, like Nautica. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna like those citrusy, woody, especially floral notes. And who doesn't like the smell or taste of honey? Um, but it's it's outstanding i and i can picture king rocking it you know he'll have the polo with the nice big insignia um he'll have his gucci shoes you know canvas and um you know it, it's something that to me screams date night uh you know and uh and i really think um he did a, a great job with this one yeah i'm detecting maybe a little little bit of orange blossom in there, but um, that might be the way the honey is kind of coalescing with the lavender. Um, so the floral notes are, are there. It's not overly sweet. I don't think um, someone would be put off by this scent. Um, I think, uh, you know, wearing it today, I, I sprayed it in my handkerchief as well. And, and you really get, um, there's a bit of a spice on the opening, but that kind of calms down and becomes all, almost like a, a sweeter woodsy fragrance. So it's something you could wear anytime, any occasion. Um, Emery King, you, you knocked it out of the park with this one, uh, Skyboy. Now I know you said, uh, Corbrise, these, these ladies have burned you before, but you're gonna have to peel them off with this. Uh, there's gonna be some ladies that want to, uh, marry you basically so you're, you're gonna have to fight him off with a stick again uh thank you king awesome job